some of the best things about Wyoming are the wide open spaces and all the amazing things you can do here. I love that we have so many outdoor activities and so many places you can do them, especially if you own your own chunk of land. Think of all the fun you can have on your own property. Hi, I'm Alicia Collins with Remax The Group and the Alicia Collins Real Estate Team. And we live, work, and play in the Casper area. We would love to help you find the home of your dreams. So reach out to us and my team and I will take great care of you. I have been thinking about hunting in Wyoming and more specifically, hunting on your own property. If you own a bit of land, say a couple of acres, you may think you can do whatever you want, including hunting any animal that might cross your path. Wyoming does tend to be less rule heavy about a lot of things, but hunting is not one of those. Hunting is a way of life for many here, but it is regulated and rightfully so. We take our hunting rights and regulations very serious around here. Let's start with the basics. One very important regulation is that anywhere in Wyoming, regardless of game type, you're hunting. Everyone born after January 1, 1966 must have completed an approved hunter safety course in order to hunt in Wyoming using firearms. The classes are widely available and provide vital education for hunters and non-hunters alike. There is an exception to this important rule. You may hunt with firearms on land owned by your family without proof of hunter safety. So there is one advantage to owning a bit of land. In addition to the exception to the hunter safety rule, there are some animals that you can hunt in Wyoming without a license, anywhere hunting is legal. The list of animals that you can take without a license includes some predatory animals like coyotes, some non-game animals like prairie dogs, and even some birds like doves and pigeons. A full list along with a more complete explanation can be found on the Game and Fish website, shown in the comments below. If you have some land and the coyotes are wrecking havoc, you can absolutely take care of that problem, which is good to know. If you are interested in hunting in Wyoming, you're probably more interested in large game animals than prairie dogs. This brings us to an important question. Can a person hunt game animals on their own property? The answer is yes, while following some rules, of course. For example, if your land is in a general permit area for a specific animal, you can buy a general permit and hunt on your own land. This makes sense, right? If your land is in a draw area, you can put in for a license on the draw as well. Have you ever heard of a landowner license? Maybe you've wondered what exactly is a landowner license and how does a person qualify for one? Let's look at the basics. The first rule you should know is that in order to get a landowner hunting license in Wyoming, you have to own at least 160 acres. Landowner licenses are restricted and are to be used only by the landowner and their immediate family. You'll still have to apply for a hunting permit based upon the area your land is located within under the landowner license application and pay the associated fee. But you don't have to participate in the competitive draw for your area. These landowner licenses are issued so that landowners in competitive draw areas have the ability to hunt deer, elk, antelope, and wild turkeys on their own property. The license will not be issued if your land is in a general draw area. Part of the application process involves demonstrating that the species of wildlife you are applying to hunt utilize your land for food, water, and cover for a minimum of 2,000 days in the previous 12 months. Wait, what? There are only 365 days in a year. How are 2,000 days possible? If you have 10 turkeys on your property, 200 days a year, you have 2,000 days and you can apply for your landowner license. It is important to note that for each large game species, you are limited to one full price license and one limited quota license during a 12 month period. In addition, even if you own more than two qualifying parcels of land, you are limited to applying for two landowner licenses. Another important regulation to be aware of is that if you buy land and subdivide it with the sole purpose of gaining landowner licenses, you'll be sadly disappointed. This will make you ineligible for those licenses. This is the general concept of hunting on your own land in Wyoming. If you have any further questions, it's important to check with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department. For legality and safety, it's very important to know and understand the rules and regulations of hunting anywhere and especially here in Wyoming. 
If you would love to hear more about Wyoming, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so that you're notified every time we produce a new video. We would love to help you in your home search as well, whether you live here or you're moving here. We love living in Wyoming. Remember, we want you to love where you live. See you soon.